Hi guys, this is Emily from Emily's Anthology and I'm finally getting around to filming this anti-aging massage video. Now I'm going to split it into two different parts. This first part that I'm going to do is going to explain to you how exactly you're meant to do this, what techniques, what you should and shouldn't do. And in the next video, I will take you through step by step exactly how to do the massage. So let's get right down to the tips. First. So the first thing that you need to know is with this massage, it is an anti-aging massage and it is not mine. I actually got it off this really famous guru in um, Japan. This massage is named after her. It's called the Tanaka Facial Massage. She recommends doing it twice a day. I only do it at night because I'm a bit lazy in the mornings to be honest. And um, what you're meant to do is you're supposed to use your fingers and stimulate underneath the skin. So you have to press really hard to kind of stimulate the muscle underneath the skin and exercise it. Which is what you're meant to do to encourage the elasticity and um, ensure that the muscles stay in place. So first things first, Tanaka advises not to use the tips of your fingers. You are going to use your hands for this massage and what you're meant to do is press down with the whole of your fingers instead of just the tips of your fingers. And there's going to be one part of the massage where you have to use this part of your thumb. So the soft area of your thumb, the cushy part, is what you're meant to be using for some parts of the massage. Tanaka also says that you will experience some pain with the massage if you have a lot of fat in your face. I do have quite a bit of fat in my face and I can tell you that it is painful but not unbearably painful. In the video, I will be demonstrating the massage but I won't be showing you exactly how hard you're supposed to press into your skin because I'm not going to be using the facial oils and I'm not going to be pressing everything into my skin but I'm just showing you step by step exactly how you're supposed to do it. So do apply pressure. Don't apply too much so that it is unbearably painful but do apply some pressure because you want to get underneath the skin and stimulate the muscles underneath. Now one other thing is that you have to use face oils when you're doing this massage because otherwise it will pull and tug at your um, outer layer of your skin a bit too much. So I have used this in a couple of different ways. The first way is a face oil that you keep on. So this is the Clarins Lotus Face Treatment Oil. This is for oily skins. Clarins does do two different ones for dry skin and really dehydrated skin. So if you want to check out a face oil, this is a really good one that you can try. Another one is this rose hip oil that I got from La Clinica. I got this in an anti-aging kind of kit together with a day cream, a night cream, and a cleanser. But basically this is their rose hip oil. And um, it is anti-aging and it does have a lot of really good kind of properties to it. So this is something that you might want to check out as well. The thing with face oils that you don't wash off is that I find that if you use too much, it does get a bit too rich for your skin and it does get a little bit too oily and greasy, especially at night before you go to sleep. So I have switched over and started this massage with a different kind of face oil. And this is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. And the reason why I like using cleansing oils to do this massage is that you can pile on as much oil as you want and it gives you a bit more give on the skin which is perfect when you're doing this kind of massage and you can wash everything off so it's not too slick and too oily on the skin so that's why I like this one. I prefer doing the massage with this one to be honest. So that's about it for the tips and tricks and the general how-to. Um, I will place the link to the actual massage video down below or I will just link it over here and I will see you there.